Welcome to another episode of Field Phone Ops. Today we're going to look at DNVTs and a four-line DNVT switch. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Nick Snacks. That was the guy and his team who basically went in and reverse engineered a system or a switch that would allow you to put DNVTs together and actually dial call all of them. And I'm going to include his information, his website, and his information like that on there. So if you want to learn more or if you actually want to go out and purchase one, I'm going to put it down below. So here we go. And here we go. Here's our setup for our demo today. We're going to use uh, something new. This is a four-line DNVT switch that was put together by a guy known on the YouTube as Nick, and it's Nick Snacks. And I think this is really neat because this is the first time that I've ever seen a device that will let you connect DNVTs together and actually call them by dialing. Usually when you buy two 1042s, you can actually run them in a point-to-point -point mode. Um, TA954s without uh, having a box like this are basically useless. And then uh, the CA67s right here can be run in a point-to-point -point mode, but I've never seen them ever used in a dial configuration. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some dialing and see how this works. So basically all these are set up. This box right here runs. It's got a... Uh, uh, it's basically reverse engineered a, a switchboard that will run DNVTs and this uh, connection right here provides USB power for the, the board in here and I actually have a 48 volt power supply that's plugged into the back that provides the, the common battery and the ringing voltage just to make the phones work. All the phones have to be set to 32 common battery and they won't work and uh, it's just a single number dial. Right now they're in the, I guess the experimental stages as they come forward with more software we may look at the possibility of them being able to do, you know, two-digit, four-digit, whatever dial. They're also looking at the possibility of maybe someday being able to, you can currently plug this into a computer on the USB port and plug another one in and go from having four phones to eight phones. I don't know if their intent is to keep that going up. But the possibility they're talking about is passing an interface, I'm sorry, so you could take one of these phones, plug it into their box, and then use a VoIP system to make a VoIP call, call like a UMA or a Magic Jack and go anywhere the internet is and call some other phone. So that's something neat. I'm going to leave them alone and let them work on that. But my main thing I want to demonstrate today is I have never seen a DNVT like this actually make a call to one of these. Never seen that done. So we're going to do that first. That's phone number one. So I'm going to pick this up. Dial tone. And you see the light ringing. Oh, there it is. It's ringing. Test one, two. Test one, two. Now, one thing weird about this is because this is a actual data terminal, more, more, of a, more of a data terminal with the capabilities of a phone built in, whereas these are phones that have a data terminal plug on the back. You have to press C twice. That basically enables the, the mic on this one. So that's calling from phone one to phone oh, for four, phone four to four one. We'll go ahead and hang it up, hang this one up. We'll go ahead and we'll call from uh, the uh, TA954 to the TA1042. Uh, we'll do two. Oh, that phone right there is ringing. Pick it up. Test one two. Test one two. Test one two three. That's it. Let's. Uh, Let's go another one. Let's call from the CA67. Let's call the TA954. Phone three. Test one, two, three. Test one, two. Test one, two. Test one, two. And there we go. It works. I think this is really neat because I've never seen uh, DMVTs be able to dial each other in since I retired from the Air National Guard, and that's been a while ago. So this is really neat. It also gives options to people who, I mean, there's a lot of uh, 954s for sale on the Internet, and they're useless by themselves. At least with a TA-1042, you can run them in point to point. But this way, using this box right here, you can actually connect them together and actually make you know phone calls in that. Like I said, I know that, that uh, the Nick Max crew is working on some uh, more stuff, 
more capabilities, so uh, we'll stand by. And the good thing about this is that they're hoping that it's just basically a, a, a software change or a firmware change. When they come up with an updated firmware, where new ca capabilities, you can go online, download it, and load it right to this box right here, and you should be good to go. Um, like I said, let me think if there's anything else. So I did do an experiment, and I disconnected the 48 volt power supply, and I put DC power on each one of these. And without DC power, TA 1042s will actually operate on here and make phone calls because they're pulling power from the batteries it had on them versus the network itself. Didn't work with this. I tried it with that. It didn't work. And it definitely does not work with the TA 954. But I mean, that's it. Something neat to see. Uh, basically, it's a mini dial up network if you want to call it line, line emulator or a line you know, simulator. But uh, it allows you to use four DMV keys and they can call each other by dialing. And uh, I'm going to use this for when I do my displays. I think this will help a lot. I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching.